I am in Miami right now, super excited. Heading to Costa Rica, three, my first one, real one, solo three, trip to where it's like, I'm without a car, without anything, so. Please have your passport. Place. So your girl just touched down in Costa Rica. I just got into my Airbnb and I'm super excited, you guys, because it looks amazing. It's so cute um, and it's just the right size, but it's the view that is taking me out. So I can't wait to show you guys. Let's go. All right. So here is the tour of my current Airbnb. This is the living room area, which is so cute. I love the little plants, but this is the part that does it for me. Look, you guys, do you see this? This is my view from the living room. Mind you, there's this cute desk area here as well. So I definitely intend to work while taking in that beautiful view and this breeze is amazing. I'm gonna take you guys to the bathroom which is pretty simple. We have a shower area, toilet, sink, you know, it does the trick. So then we have the room, nice size room, comfortable bed. I love that there is a workstation, which is super important for us remote working babes. And we have a nice little TV and again, a window with access to this beautiful view. So now I'm going to take you guys to the kitchen. Let's see what's happening here i thought this was cute too like having this little door here i like the herbs so i thought this was so cute so my airbnb host gustavo actually left this platter here for me so he took out some costa rican snacks that i may enjoy he got me some bananas i'm not quite sure what this is but um if it's vegan i will definitely try it and let you guys know how it is um and yeah so this is the kitchen. We have like the sink, there's a gas stove. This sink here is for the washer and dryer. So it's a washer and dryer in one, which I think is so cool. You have the little microwave, toaster oven, and then this fridge here as well. So I thought this was really cute. Again, another window, nice view. And there's also a little couch area in case you wanna have guests or anyone who wants to have a place to hang out and chill and take a nap or so. It's just the right size for one or two people. I mean, it's very comfortable. Anyways, <laughs> this is the tour. Again, I'm gonna drop a link um, if you guys are interested in you know staying here if you decide to take a trip to San Jose. My host actually left me some money or some colones. So I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like because I just think, you know, every dollar is just so cool to me. It's so unique um, to the country. So uh, let's take a look. All right, so he left me 20 mil colones, 220 mil colones, 10 mil colones, and five mil colones. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? How does that convert? over an American dollar. <laughs> so he was also sweet enough to leave a piece of paper showing the breakdown, right? So for a hundred American dollars, it is 54,600 colones. For every one 20 mil colones, that's $35.71 US, right? So the conversion here is gonna be fun, you guys. I'm really curious to see how uh, <laughs> this is gonna play out. I'm really gonna to have to keep track. So I ended up coming into Costa Rica with a flight. It was really easy. The airport is, you know, it's pretty easy to navigate the airport. Um, everything is in Spanish, but then right underneath the Spanish word, they have it in English. So it makes it really um, easy to navigate. Now, went through immigration, went to customs. Of course, they asked you the typical questions. You know, why are you here? How long are you staying for? What do you do for work? Um, and when are you returning back home? 
So went through that process, it was really simple. Uh, the guy I had was nice, thank goodness, because some of them are really intense, um, like really intense. Um, but the guy I had was pretty nice. So that went pretty seamless. Um, and also them checking your bags. That was actually scary easy. Like you just walk up to this, um, to the station and you put your check bag onto this little machine. It's almost like going through security again. Um, it scans your luggage and then you just pick it up and you're good to go. That's it. You guys, do you hear the birds? Oh my goodness. The birds are so pretty. I think those are parakeets. They're green. Okay, sorry, I, got, I just got distracted. Oh, there they go again. Okay, focus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, so going through customs was pretty easy. They scan your luggage and then you're good to go. So this is the part that gets a little spooky. Um, I get to um, departures or get to the exit to leave the airport and I'm like, okay, I wanna get an air a Uber to my Airbnb. And you know, there's taxi drivers everywhere and they're like, no, you can't get an Uber, that's illegal. I said, what are you talking about? Like I've seen online Multiple people said I can get an Uber. My Airbnb host said I can get an Uber. What do you mean it's illegal? I, so at first I was like, <laughs> they're trying to play me <laughs> like I'm stupid, <laughs> like I'm dumb. Um, because I'm like, I know that I'm able to get an Uber. So I did just that. I ordered an Uber. Backfired, hear me out. So, <laughs> I ordered the Uber. So the Uber is coming and it says, hey, meet on departures, yada, yada, yada. And I'm looking for it and I'm like, I can't find it. So it turns out the way you exit as from immigration, um, since you are coming from another country, I believe there's a different exit, right? So where my Uber driver was trying to meet me, I literally couldn't get to that location because I was stuck on this side of the airport where you know international arrivals come in so i'm going back and forth with this uber driver i'm like look i can't find you can you find me can you meet me here and it, it was just some hassle um and everyone's looking at me because they're like she looks lost and i'm like i'm fine don't worry about me um and they was like yeah yeah so you know after i want to say the fifth person because i kept saying like do you guys have uber pickups they're like, no, 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 Uber is illegal. I'm like, what do you guys mean? What do y'all mean? <laughs> what do you mean Uber is illegal? I didn't understand what they were trying to say was Uber cannot go to their airport. It's not saying that it's illegal in general. It's just saying that they have laws to which Uber drivers can't pick people up from the airport. Turns out Uber is illegal across the whole country. I just had to find out the hard way. I will leave a link in my description to the video in which I explain a bit more about this Uber situation here in Costa Rica. Cause it is wild y'all. Yep. So silly old me had to cancel that Uber ride cost me a buck or two when I want to talk about it um, and I had to get a taxi anyway so long story short if you're coming in internationals um, just just get a taxi it, it will save you money at the, <laughs> in the long run just get a taxi or um, set something up to where you can have a private company pick you up from the airport because Ubers are illegal apparently so yeah all right so that is day one of me arriving in costa rica um it was pretty fun um a little spooky but i'm here and i'm about to relax take a shower and just chill and enjoy this beautiful view my first time in costa rica so stay tuned i'm gonna post some other uh, videos of my day-to-day -day here i'll be staying here for three weeks 
So I'll definitely let you guys know. All right, peace.